You probably already know this, but we have a huge plastic problem. It's all around us. A lot of this plastic is ending up in our ocean. And the most harmful form is discarded fishing nets. It stays right below the surface, destroying marine life. Originally, fishing nets were made from natural fibers, like this, that could easily biodegrade in the marine environment. Then about 40 years ago, plastic-based fishing nets arrived that were stronger, lighter, and easier to repair. It gets discarded in the marine environment, it can last hundreds of years, degrading the same habitat they depend on to fit. Virgin plastic is all derived from petroleum. It's um, one of the byproducts of crude oil. And so our issue there is that it's more energy intensive to produce. You're inherently impacting more than you would if you were using something that's reusable. That's the whole idea behind a post-consumer recycled product, which is what fishing nets are. They've, they've already been in use in the industry. They went through their entire life cycle and we're taking them back to the beginning of a life cycle and reusing them. Here's how it works. We build relationships with fishing communities across South America and pay each fishery a premium for every kilo of discarded net they return. We then employ teams of local workers to sort, cut, clean, bale, and tag these nets before being sent to a recycling partner in the south of Chile. The nets are then transformed into fully traceable pellets where they're ready to replace virgin plastics for good. This allows us to scale positive solutions to this once harmful material, opening up a world of opportunities to work with companies like Patagonia to reimagine some of their most iconic products. So just as discarded nets are hiding below the surface, so is virgin plastic inside of every hat you've ever owned. So we're partnering with Patagonia to replace the plastic in all of their hat rooms with our fully traceable, 100% recycled fishnets, the material we call Net Plus.